So a HELOC is a great tool to build wealth in real estate, but I want to share with you a quick video, a quick update on my HELOC because I have come to the conclusion that I need to pay off this HELOC as soon as possible. Why you may ask? Well, let's get into it. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you didn't already know, my name is Jay Costa. I'm a real estate investor, builder, and agent here in Northern New Jersey. If you get value out of this video, please smash that like button down below and also consider subscribing. We're building a community here of like-minded individuals, investors looking to build wealth in real estate in a multitude of ways, but one of those ways is with a HELOC, a home equity line of credit. This can be a real estate flip, it could be a long-term buy and hold uh, investment rental property, and it could also be a new construction property, and that's what I have been doing. I have discussed in previous videos about how I'm taking almost $200,000 out of my home equity line of credit. I put it towards a new construction duplex project that I have going on right now. If you want to learn more about that project specifically, I'll put a link to that video in the description box down below, as well as up in the corner here. So definitely check that out. In that video, I go over how I found the deal, how I funded the deal, and what my plans are on that project and what I think we could sell them for at the end of the day. But in this video, I wanted to talk about why I used my HELOC at the time to fund that property and why now is different. So just a quick recap on this property. There was a existing two family property, multifamily property. Me and a partner bought it for $700,000 and we're 50, 50 partners. So with closing costs and things like that, we need to both come up with, let's say about $370,000 each. Now this was back in January of this year and all of, or most of my investment capital was in the stock market. And going back to January, if you look at the stock market, it was kind of going down. So instead of taking all $370,000 out of the stock market and selling at what seemed like a low at the time and putting it into this property, I decided to take half out of the stock market, let's say 170 grand and take the other 170 or so grand from my home equity line of credit. Now my home equity line of credit interest rate as of right now is 9.75%. That is way higher than it was a year or two ago for sure as we all know. I figured since my HELOC rate is about 9, 9 and 3 quarters, whatever, you know, varying um, uh, year to date, I could pay interest only payments on the home equity line of credit until the stock market kind of recovers and I can then slowly pay the HELOC down or I could wait till the end of the project and pay it all off at the end. But we're still over six months in after acquiring this property and we still have not even started construction yet. So it could be another nine months to a year before this thing is complete. And you add up $1,300 a month for the next year and I've already been paying it for six plus months that starts to add up, it starts to eat away at the profits that I have uh, projected for this project. Now, so far, my decision has paid off. Since the beginning of the year, the S&P 500 is up 15%. And since my HELOC rate is, let's say, an average of 9% or so for the first six months, I paid probably a little bit less than 5% interest on the money that I took out with the home equity line of credit. So I'm up net 10%. Now, of course, there was some risk to this when I made this decision back in January. There's no guarantee, there was no guarantee, and there still is none, that the stock market would go up at all. It could have even gone down at the time, and it could still go down. So there is risk involved that you need to be aware of. But after the last six months here, the stock market has recovered pretty nicely and my risk reward calculation is a little bit different now than it was then. I felt like the reward outweighed the risk back in January, frankly. Now I think that the risk is actually outweighing the reward for the next nine months to a year. So now I'm kind of at a crossroads. Do I keep paying this $1,300 per month interest only payment until the project is complete? Or do I start taking money out of the market as well as other income sources to start paying down that pretty high interest only payment on the HELOC that's kind of eating away at my projected profit on this property. With construction even yet to get started, I have decided to officially pay off my HELOC and here's my plan to do so. I am going to pay off my home equity line of credit at set increments on set dates every month. I'm gonna put $30,000 each month towards paying off my home equity line of credit. Now this could be from selling stock that I already have and it could also come from other income sources like selling real estate and things like that. And I'm gonna do this for the next six months and that should bring me to about having that home equity line of credit 
paid off completely. This will save me a lot on interest and frankly, take a lot of the risk off the table on this project because this project, we bought the place for $700,000. We're going to try to build this, the, the, uh, the duplex for, let's say, I don't know, 900,000 or 800,000 around there. And we're going to sell each duplex. There's going to be two of them, obviously each duplex for a million, four million five per side if things go well. So you're looking at a pretty good payday at the end. So I want to take some risk off the table with this property. It just makes sense uh, given the situation. Many of you guys and girls asked me in the comment section about whether what you should use your home equity line of credit on or for. And as I always say, we all have different risk tolerances based on our surroundings and our situations. So is it time for you to pay off your HELOC, your home equity line of credit? Let me start out by saying that I always had a way to pay off my HELOC. I had the full amount in other investments that I could take in a worst case scenario and pay off the HELOC so I didn't lose my house. So that leads me to my biggest tip for you guys in pretty much every HELOC video that I make, and that is if you do not have the money elsewhere to pay off your HELOC, do not take any money out of your house using a HELOC. You should always be paranoid and be thinking of the worst case scenario in these situations, especially when you're talking about the home that you and or your family lives in. Because if you take, let's say, 100 grand or whatever out of your uh, equity of your house using a HELOC, put it towards another investment, that investment goes really badly, you lose that money. And then the lender's gonna call, ask for the money and you're gonna not gonna have any way to pay for it other than to sell your house and lose it. Now, my parents lost our home in a similar situation when I was a kid and it was not a good experience for me and I would never ever wanna put my own kids through that same experience. So that being said, let's assume that you do have the money to pay off your HELOC elsewhere. Should you pay all, use that money to pay off your HELOC or should you keep it where it is? Well, if you break it down to the most elemental level, the rate of return on the investment that you have your money in needs to outweigh the interest rate on your HELOC that you're paying on the money from your HELOC. So for instance, my interest rate as of right now on my HELOC is 9.75%. So if I somehow had a way to get a 15% return on that money, then yeah, of course I would do it because you'd be net gaining over 5% in interest. Now, as long as that investment is pretty low risk as well as a pretty short term investment, I would definitely consider it. Something like a, 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 quick, a, a quick flip of a house or something like that. But if it drags on long term over a year or two or something like that, you're gonna add up a lot in your expenses with the interest only payments on the home equity line of credit and it's gonna really bite into the projected profit that you have, hence my situation with this new construction property. On the flip side, if you have money sitting in like a savings account getting 4% and you also have money taken out a balance on your HELOC paying nine plus percent, you should take that money out of your savings account and put it into the HELOC. Because if the savings account is only paying 4% and you're paying nine or 10% on your HELOC, if you take that money and put it into the HELOC, you're saving f over 5% on interest alone. Let me know what you think about my decision. Let me know if you have been or are in similar situations right now. Do you have money or are you holding a balance on your HELOC paying interest only for investment purposes? Let me know in the comment section down below about what you think about my situation and what what you would do in my situation. And if you have any questions, if you want my opinion on uh, what you should be doing with your HELOC, Always go in the comment section. I help and I try to uh, respond to all of you. And um, yeah, I appreciate it, guys. I will see you next time.